Hey everybody, my name is Jared Gwaltney. I'm the executive chef at the Warner House, Texas Grill and Wine Garden, located right here at the Pearl Brewery. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to do a little cooking demonstration for you this morning. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a skillet bread pudding with peaches and white chocolate. It's a really good dish. It's great for when the weather starts to get cool uh, and it's easy to make. So, before, before I came, I came today, today, I prepped up some, some crusty bread, bread from Soy Luna, Luna Bakery. Um, I, I coated it, uh, uh, cut it up into about one inch cubes, and I coated it in some butter, butter and, and I baked it in a 350 degree oven for about 15, 15 minutes. minutes. You, you want, want it kind of crispy on the outside, a little soft still on the inside. You're going to let those cool and set them aside. All right, I got a nice hot deep skillet here, and I'm going to start with. About four, four tablespoons, tablespoons of butter. butter. We're going to get that melted in the pan. And I'm going to add about one cup of Fredericksburg peaches from James Keith Orchard and a half a cup of golden raisins. I'm going to caramelize that real good in the butter. Get that all stirred around. You want to get the edges of the peaches a little color, a little brown. You want to cook this until they get about semi-soft. Once you get that going, you should have already ready a cup of heavy cream and a cup of condensed milk. I'm going to add that to the pan. One cup of heavy cream. One cup of condensed milk. We're going to stir that all together. You want to bring this to a full boil, and you want to let it simmer for about five minutes. So while that's working, let me tell you a little bit about the Chef Co-op. It is an organization here in San Antonio that works to promote the farm-to-market movement and the farm-to-table movement. Uh, we, we like to support local, local farms around, around town, and bring lights to, uh, to how, how they benefit, benefit the community and how great the product is. is. Uh, our, our next event is going to be at Bear Farms. farms. Uh, we're we're going to be doing, doing a street taco, taco and shrimp, shrimp boil. It's, it's going to be, be real, real delicious. delicious. There'll be some beer, wine, some music. I know Cody and his wife out there at Bear Farms. We use their product at the boiler house. We use their market greens on our local green salad. And they're, they're so, so awesome. awesome. There's, There's some, some spicy, spicy lettuce mixed in there and, and some other uh, good lettuces. Uh, uh, we, we also use their baby heirloom tomatoes. Are real delicious. Delicious. All right, so after, after you let the, the, the mixture of peaches and raisins and condensed milk and cream uh, reduce, you, you want to add a pinch of salt, a little pinch of cinnamon, stir that all together. And then you're going to put your bread in there. Get it all nice and coated. What you do, you want to turn off your heat. Let it sit for about five more minutes. You want to get that bread all soft and steamed. While we're doing that, uh, let me tell you about what's going on at the boiler house. Next week on uh, November 7th, it's Thursday night. We're going to be having this really fun wine dinner at the boiler house. It's a five course wine tasting for $85. Uh, we're going to be doing this cool thing where uh, we show some small film clips. Uh, where, where they, they make food or they're, they're eating a dish, dish and then, then I'm, I'm going to recreate, recreate the, the, the food, food from that movie, movie and we're, we're going to serve, serve that in an old course meal. meal. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. fun. Uh, for, for example, the first course is going to be for Beetlejuice, where they eat shrimp cocktail, and dance around the table, table they get possessed by ghosts, and uh, I'm going to recreate that, that, that colossal shrimp cocktail from that movie. Uh, we're also, also going to be doing movie trivia, trivia playing party games. There's going to be door prizes. It should, it should be, be a lot of fun. fun. 
and if every course is going to be paired with, with a delicious wine, wine from our, our bar manager, manager Raquel, Raquel, the boy in the house. Uh, so, after, after you let, let this sit, sit for a while, while the bread got, got nice and soft. soft. You, you want to choose the dish that you're going to use. You're going to gently spoon some of the bread pudding you made into a dish. And this will serve uh, probably four to six people if you're making it at home for a party. All right. You're going to take that. I'm going to cut up some of these candied nuts. I'm going to top them with candied nuts, white chocolate, and a little honey from Holdman's Honey. And there you have it. It's a skillet fried bread pudding. Who wants to try it? Come on in. There's enough for everybody.